What happened? What do you mean, what happened? I see, I see it in there. And now that you're showing, I'm like, oh, God. So you're right. It's all in my credit account. So now I'm going to pay you all that back. So you I don't you went into yoga. my savings account? My credit sure, card yeah. account? Ma'am, is that his name, Spencer? Spencer Trinkle? How much money did you lose? Uh, so far it's coming out to $5,000. Where Do you know where Spencer lives? No. But how do you know? He used to be my cable guy. You don't know anything about him? Well, I've known him three, four years now. Being a victim of a robbery is one of the worst things that can ever happen to you. But... Imagine getting robbed by someone you put your trust in, someone you depended on for a long period of time. Unbelievable, isn't it? But that's what happened to this sweet lady, Donna Welch. A deputy reported a case of fraud at the Bank of America. The person filing the complaint was an alone elderly woman named Donna Welch who just found out over $5,000 was stolen from her several bank accounts. I have this kid that comes to my house all the time to help me out with my computer and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I do not belong to Zell. You don't have a Zell account? No. Okay. He does. Mm -hmm. How did the funds leave your account? Can you just kind of walk me through that? He he never gave him your bank information? He knows a lot about me. He gave him your bank account information? No, he, he used to help me because I'm not... What do you mean he used to help you? Answer it. Answer it? Yeah. Okay. Hey. Hey, Spencer. Hello? Hey, it's the deputy Harrison, Clark County Sheriff's Office. How are you? Hello? Is that on there? Yeah, this is Deputy Harrison. I'm talking to you right now. You keep freaking up. Hello? Just look at my thing. I see it. I know exactly what happened. So I'm like, now I gotta fix it for her. Okay, where are you at? Let's fix it. I'm in the Montex. Okay, do you want to come out to uh, Bank of America down here in Palm Coast? I'm doing a home equity loan, so you're, you're going to get all that back. How far are you, about 20, 30 minutes, right there, 40? Yeah, give me one second. Yes, I'll call you right back. Hey, hey Spencer, it's Deputy Harrison. Hey, I'm coming. I'm sorry, can, I, can I talk to Donna real quick, though? No, no, because i got to ask you a couple questions, too. Like, uh, I got calls here, so no big deal. I just want to ask you to get your side, get her side, and do my thing. Yeah, I'm not trying to waste That's my funny, time. Because I'm like, I don't want to get in trouble. I've been helping her. For no, right now, nobody's in trouble. Can I, can I talk to Donna real quick, too? No, no, when you get here, you can talk to her. Once Spencer understood that Donna's getting help from law enforcement, he obviously freaked out. He kept calling her again and again and tried to water down the situation like a master manipulator. And from his excuses, you can understand he had planned up the whole thing pretty well. The police officer asked him to meet and talk, and upon arrival, he gave Donna a loving hug as if nothing had happened. All right, can I talk to you over here real quick? All right, cool. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, Donna? Yeah, so I've known her for about four years now. Yeah. Um, Basically, she has no family. So I kind of like, with her, she'll face sometimes she'll, what is she, like, you'll find her, she'll be passed out on the floor, Mm -hmm. hit her head, she's bleeding, she has all these cuts, so I always check up on her. I'll help her pick her up, pick her up to the floor. So I just feel bad because she has no family. I see. I see it right on there. See, it shows me in there. So I'm like, what the hell, that's all there. I'm like, I don't know. Like, if I wanted to do that, I'd be doing it this whole time. It'd be great. I'd be rich. Like, I've been helping her this whole time. I don't want to screw her over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. And how much funds were deposited from her to yourself? That's what we're adding up right now. It's like $3,000. And is that money still in your bank account? It's not in there at all. It goes through it, the medical bills and through credit. Whatever it is, it's showing up on mine, so I'm going to have to pay her that. Okay. Which is fine. That's what I'll have to do. Okay. How long have you been with uh, DCF? Two years. Two years? This yeah. is my calling to help the kids and stuff. That's why I like my job. He tried playing it cool with the police. This guy is working with an NGO and is helping kids during the daytime and robbing the elderly in his free time with excuses of helping them with technical stuff and teaching them about modern technology. I probably have to get a search warrant for both your stuff, I'm be honest with you. So, a search warrant? Yeah, we gotta figure out who took your money. What if we just drop it and I'll bite the bullet and just have to pay her back if we have to do all that shit? Bite the bullet, what do you mean? Like, I'll just take the blame for it and just have to pay no, it back. Did you do it? No, but it's in my account, so obviously... I mean, just because it's in your account, that doesn't make you... A, that doesn't make you, a, you didn't, that doesn't mean you committed a crime, all right? I know, but it's in my account, so I mean, it's, the money's not there, so I'm getting... That back doesn't mean you... you, did, you do the, did you do it or no? No, but okay, I feel bad so for her. Do you want to pursue charges or no? No. 
Okay. So you probably won't have to. We're not gonna do a search warrant if you don't want to okay. pursue charges. I, I got you. Okay. Here's your statement. So it's right down. But I feel like I should. I'm gonna pay you back, but you don't have to. Fine. Well, you're is that your evidence? He's a witness. Yeah, he's a witness. A witness to what? That he said he'll pay me back. You know, I will. I'm not attesting anything. Yeah. That, that's civil. If he if he pays you back and you yeah. don't want to press charges, that's on you. And what happens yeah. if I did, if I don't sign this and you don't pay me back? Yeah. You know my whole family, man. Little Ma'am, if he doesn't pay you back right now and we're not, you know, whatever, then. It's a civil matter. Spencer, I'm Detective Castaner with the Clark County Sheriff's Office. Oh, yeah. So, Bank of America has obviously provided Donna with some statements yeah. that clearly show a bunch yeah. of Zelle transactions yeah. that were made to you. And you've never seen this before, you're saying? The only one I saw was the other day she brought it to my attention. And then I was like, I don't have the money, so I gave her $200 cash. I thought it was only 540 okay. But I'm like, there's obviously a shitload of them in there now. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, I hope I stole it and I'll just pay you that money back. So you've seen money in there before. Right. What happened to the money? So my money, I have an automatic bill for stuff, so I, a lot of it gets right. medical bills. For I can tell right from the get-go that there's some weird shit going on. Yeah, this, no, nobody, it's not happening every year. Spencer, this isn't a happy issue. Yeah. This is, I, it really appears that no, you're know, able to get her information and you send yourself money yeah. into your account. Like, when he tried manipulating Donna against pressing charges, the police got suspicious and started looking into him. After some background checks on Spencer, it turned out he has some financial crises going on in his family. His child needed medical attention. He became a clear suspect right away. All those transactions happened before yesterday. That's the only one that we saw, I think, is that Zell Spencer. Yeah, but you got money influxed into your account on multiple previous days. Yeah, that's, that's the one she showed me. Right, but there's multiple, not just one. Yeah, I know. There's a multiple. So you, if you saw it yesterday, you would have had a seeing all the other. Ones. What's the account with the twenty thousand dollars? Mine. Yeah, that's my how much I owe my credit card. I'm like, if I need money, that's why we do a fundraiser. I don't need to. This is what we're doing now. Yeah. Let me ask you this: When we subpoena these records, mm -hmm. nothing's ever going to come back to you where your IP addresses are used to transfer her money into your account. As I'm saying, it could be because I'm on her network. That's what I'm like, I don't know. Oh, sure. no, IP addresses are, are device right, that specific. device. Yeah, I'm not sure how, but yeah, I guess so. So I'll take, like I said, I'll pay her back that money. It, it's not about paying back. You take the money from her. Not what do you mean not intentionally? So exactly. Tell me how you would have done it unintentionally. I wouldn't want to do that. Hey, if I wanted, I didn't I would say you asked. wouldn't want to do it, yeah. but how would you have done it unintentionally? I would have asked her. Obviously, if not, then I would do I understand what you're saying, mm -hmm. but that's not what happened. Money came out from her account yeah. to your account. Yeah. Okay? That happened not unintentionally. That was very intentional. So, obviously, there's definitely something going on. Yeah. We are probably 100% sure mm -hmm. that you did all the transactions okay. on your own. That in itself, you know, you got exploitation. There's a bunch of crimes and stuff yeah, going that yeah. we can yeah. hit. So. You know, so with that being said, no. she wants an answer. Yeah, I wouldn't know how to do that at all. That's why I'm like, now I got Spencer. to do that. I'm not going to get myself a question for something like that. Well, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, you're in trouble. I think it was actually a pretty good admission right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I <laughs> He said he spent the money. There you go, and we spent the money. We'll give Donna all the information. She doesn't want to see him go to jail mm -hmm. because of the whole kid situation and stuff like that. So this is the deal. You're a lucky person, okay, because she likes you. I know, I really am a good person. Well, good people don't take $4,000 from right. their friends or anything without asking. Mm -hmm. That's not a good person. She doesn't want to pursue charges, at least today. She doesn't want to see you right now but she thinks that you'll communicate with her and then you guys work out some yeah, sort of an agreement. Yeah. Yeah. If that doesn't happen, yeah. do you know what is going to happen? Absolutely. What's going to happen? They, they I'm going to come arrest you. Yeah. But when she calls us back in however long you don't pay her back, yeah. I'm not going to not pay her. Then that's where we're at. Okay. All right? You. I appreciate it. All right, Spencer. Uh, thank you. Yep. Uh, All right. Thank you, guys. Hey, man. After he confessed to taking the money, Donna still doesn't press charges against him, thinking of his future and his sick son who needed medical attention, since Spencer could go to jail for several years if he was found guilty of bank fraud. 
This lady is so kind and forgiving that if Spencer would have asked her for the money instead of stealing it, she would have given it to him. Spencer parted ways, promising to give her money back. You'd think that he'd be on his best behavior after Donna's forgiveness, but two days later, the police found Donna crying on her front porch. I'm thinking of prosecuting. He used my rewards money. He went into my savings account. Mm -hmm. He went into my checking account. And he went into my credit card. I mean, he was doing this when I was here. So what would you like to do, Donna? I'm thinking of pressing charges. Okay. I feel bad. You shouldn't. You should not at all feel bad. I, uh, really someone took bad. advantage of you. What's to feel bad about? There's no point in feeling bad for someone who only cares about the money in your bank account. He already lost his job. This is my calling. The repercussions for committing a crime is not losing your job. It's having criminal charges. That's his fault for losing his job. That's something he did to himself. And I, I bluntly asked him, why did you do this to me? And he goes, well, I didn't want to Parker. I go... You could have asked me for some money. You didn't have to steal it. Good afternoon. This is Deputy Wynn from the Flag County Sheriff's Office trying to reach Donna Welch. Speaking, there's more things than I'm finding that he took. I had $176 in my bag, and when I went to the dollar store, and I opened my wallet. I had a dollar in there. And then he took my Bed Bath and Beyond credit card. And I went to Target yesterday. I got a credit card, but it was missing. People like Spencer are predators, preying on the old and the weak for their own good. A month after this incident, Spencer was forced to turn himself in for felony grand theft and felony identity theft charges of a person over 60 years old just hours after getting bailed out on a $3,000 bond. Despite admitting to taking the money, he pled not guilty in court. Fortunately, there are good people out there who are on the lookout for these kinds of scammers and actually care for our senior citizens. A kind and powerful owner of a property management company filed a report against one of her employees, Trisha Coastal, who allegedly stole thousands of dollars from a very old and sick woman named Ursula, who had been recently widowed. One of my owners called me today. They realized that she's been taking money out of the bank account, her and her boyfriend, Matthew Stafford. So they have been um, putting it on cash apps and so forth. So I want to prosecute it. I want her fucking arrested. I don't know what you can do. Loser. She's um, French. Is what it is. What does she have to go to the house first for? The daughter said, can you get the mail to see if I if I have any bills I have to pay and scan it to me. So when she was doing that, I guess she decided to take the Wells Fargo statement and then somehow has been taking money out of that account. I'm not sure how. So she's one of my employees. So I don't know. I mean, I can I can take a statement. I can, yeah, go um, I, can I can get your information. Well, Here's the thing: is you don't want we don't want to play our hand early. She knows. I already told her you're fired, and it's my mission in life to get your ass arrested. I'm like, how dare you steal? I'm gonna cry. Steal from a senior citizen? How low of life are you? I'm sorry, but that just oh, I get so emotional. So, People are pieces of shit. So right now, the victim is this senior that's in a nursing home, and she's robbing her blind. Okay. And I don't know what else she took from the house. I just want her ass pull out of here in handcuffs because I just think she's the lowest life of piece of shit planet you have a good job she has this loser i'm like you have to be on drugs you have to be on drugs there makes no sense that you have a boyfriend who is a loser living in the econo lounge that just says oh i'm a crackhead right there and you make good money she lives in sanctuary with her dad who's a millionaire i was told by the daughter and then a pastor charles to pick up the mail okay and i did that and it was in my car and uh, the person who had received the information was from the mail from the Wells Fargo bank statement in my car. And I, I noticed it was money, like he always had money every day. And so can I say I didn't know? No, I knew there was activity somewhere. 
absolutely and I'm willing to do any everything it takes. I was very close to the people, I was very close to the daughter. I did everything I could for them. I had welfare checks out of them. I mean I really, really really, really invested time in these people. So walk me back to when you were uh, um, when you were checking the mail, okay? Yeah, what, I put it in my car. Okay, you, I'd you, bring it here, but it was after hours. Okay. So I was like, we swung by there, we grabbed it. Right. So you, they, they're like, hey, help us out, grab yeah. the mail. So I could scan the um, any bills or anything outstanding, so I could scan the daughter. So it's in California. Okay. So Ursula is the lady who's in the nursing home now. Okay. So what can you tell me about that? A cash app was linked to it. Okay, um, and so that just allows you to withdraw money at, as you as you please from it. Yeah, uh, off a card, you can link it to the card, and then he would authorize funds to come over. So is it like money was transferred out of yeah. the account onto the Cash App card? Okay, um, and who's who's he that we're talking about? Matthew Stafford. Okay. Um, and who's he to you? Uh, you know, boyfriend. Okay. Do you have any idea how much money he's transferred over? I didn't know. He mentioned 2600 Okay. Twenty. <laughs> who, who, who mentioned 2600 Dave. Probably 212-104. Who's that? Dave. Dave. Oh, from over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would you be willing to give me a statement? Just basically documenting as much as you know what you've told me. What? Is it? By the way, she started acting from the moment the police officers stepped in. You could tell that she's trying to gain pity. But she wasn't actually sorry. She was only sorry because she got caught. Senior citizens in the U.S. can barely exist in what they get from Social Security. And on top of that, people like her with no moral values whatsoever try to steal it by taking advantage of them. She deserves absolutely no pity. How do I wrap it up? Like You can put your feelings in there. You can put, you know, what you plan on doing. You can put um, what you're willing to do. Okay. Right. All through? All right, I'll tell you what. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna read over it, and then um, I'll get you to sign it, okay? Um, where's she staying? So, yeah, uh, he was at the hotel. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, he's like, paying for his hotel room. I'm like, hello, where are you getting this money? Where, you're not working. And then I put two and two together, I saw the cash app card out. I'm like, where, who's cash app you money, you know? He just, Wanted an apology and money back, and they weren't gonna do anything to you. Well, see, that's the thing, is, so you know, they're pissed, they're worked up because their their business name has been mm -hmm. you know tarnished. Mm -hmm. Completely understandable, yeah, and I get that. They're not the victims, okay? Ursula and Anita, their name is on that account, yeah. and so if I talk to her and she's like, listen. She pays the money back, it's good to go. Yeah. I'm um, gonna tell her I will pay everything. I will send an apology letter. I will do whatever it takes. I will, I'll pay, I'll pay his ass, uh, for his ass, for what he did, to make it right for them. I, I'm not, I don't wanna do this to get him out of trouble or this or that. It's to make them happy. Because really, that money they can use to get out of this eviction. Is tomorrow there? Yes, hi. Hi, Tamara. Um, like I said, my name's Deputy Stamps. We have found charges from the property manager for cell phone bill. Um, your grandmother will have to be the one to press charges. Would that be something that she could or would be willing to do? Yes. Her answer was quite obvious. This poor family was battling with an eviction, and their property manager decided to steal from them even after being fully aware of their situation. There is a special place in hell for people like that. Have you spoken to Matt about this yet? Um, I just kind of briefed him. Like, I know, have not. Okay, so, but he, he knows law enforcement's involved and that, you know, the jig is up and all that good stuff. He's like, oh my, just tell him please, we have money today, 300 bucks if you want to, I don't know. 
you just we, we want to pay them. I used to go to her parents' house and I used to check in the room and I stalked them and then he went in the hospital and died like two days after I was there. All right. And I um, didn't know her. She doesn't know what. Yeah, if you knew if you knew money was coming out of their account. You think that was doing them any favors? No. No? You can find out where Matt is, then we'll help. Okay, he'll come talk to you. Like, we'll want to figure it out. And um, even if I could talk to Anita, what's the money right now? So, okay. Um, so, I'm Debbie Stamps. Um, I mean, I assume you know what's going yeah. on in the situation. Yeah. You know, what do you want to tell me about the situation or what's going on or whatever? I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I've fallen on hard times with my father kicking me out and domestic violence over there, so I don't even have a place to stay or nothing. You know what I mean? So, like I said, I mean, we'll pay it all back. And How did you connect the cash app to the Wells Fargo account? I don't know. I didn't really get involved with that too much like that. Okay. Um, I mean, how did, how did it get connected? Did you, did you connect it? Did, um, did Trisha connect it? Because I'm just trying to figure that out. I don't know if I did or she did. I don't, I'm not even sure. I don't, I didn't think I did it. I don't know. I'm living out of a hotel right now, and that's $80 a night, up to $100 a night, because Flagler doesn't do shit for anybody that has a domestic battery. Like, yeah. you guys do absolutely nothing at all. Like, I've called 500 numbers, dude. I have a piece of paper in there with all these numbers on it, and you guys... Don't do absolutely nothing to help. I don't know if she wants to press charges or, or not. You I know? mean, I'm sure she's not going to because, you know, I mean, like, Trish has been helping them out so much. I don't think she will. But just make sure Ursula knows that we will pay her every dime back. You know what I mean? And then tell me if she wants it. Like, I don't care. We'll take care of it. When the police confronted the boyfriend, he started playing the victim card and bringing up personal issues like it's the circumstances that made him do it. He's well in his 30s, he has no house, he's driving her car, letting her pay for the motel. The shocking part is, Trisha has a millionaire father, but she chooses to be with him for years living in a motel, probably buying all their stuff he's living off of. This is just another level of low. The next day, Trisha and Matthew agreed to meet the police at the station. What happened there will make your blood boil. Oh. Yeah, listen, with, with everything that's gone down, I um, was able to speak to um, all the parties involved. So, I mean, with that, like, you've you got to come with me. Okay? Okay. So go ahead and put your hands behind your back, man. Dude, this is fucked up, because you could have told me this. I asked you over the phone if you were going to arrest me. And I, and, I, and I can't just say yes, Yeah, no, dude, that's fucked up, bro, okay. but come on, dude. At least I could have put my shit in order. I'm good. Um, Matthew, did you give the old lady a heads up saying you were going to rob her? Listen, listen, I'm not going to, I'm not going to Shanghai you guys. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to make sure you get, you can make a phone call and uh, if you've got to call somebody to go pick up your daughter, something like that. Listen, we're, we're going to get her taken care of. Okay. I fucking told you to go to this fucking gas station, dude. You're fucking listening. No. Who said that, well, they wanted to press charges? So Ursula said she wants to press charges. She's not even in sound mind. Um, She's I, in the hospital. I spoke with Ursula, and she said that she wants to press charges. So this is this no, is dude, a charge, is a conviction, okay? okay? It's a charge. Can I at least give her a kiss? You, you guys are going in the car together. Oh, all right. You haven't even talked to my dad yet. Oh, my God, I can't call my daughter from there. Oh so you can, you can give your dad a call, oh my God. and then help him. Then he can start getting stuff in order for you, okay? I go get all the money right now and give it to you. I just got my tax refund. I'll give it all to you right now. It's it's not a matter of giving the cash back right now, okay? Um, it's a matter that there was a crime that was committed. All right, you want your seatbelt on? No. Maybe we can figure out a lesser charge or I could do something for them. I could go get it all right now, 100% of it. Uh, this has her name on it. What's that on top? It's a baggie. Yeah, those are different. One of these things is not like the other. You've got a oval pill in there, too. Yo, boss, that's all prescribed. Oh, my God, there's a bunch of these. 240 pills, bro. What is that? Methadone. I do have my medication there. Mm-hmm. Is there something found in a bottle? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, methadone? Yep. Yep. 
So she will be charged with them too? She will be charged with those. Do you know he just left them in her car? They're inside her pill bottle. Yeah. Yeah. Put them in there. She left them in my car. You guys have no freaking help at all. Okay. I was shocked by the audacity of Matthew when he was blaming the police officer for the arrest like it was his fault. The police officers surely had a lot of patience and dealt with him politely throughout instead of throwing punches at him. They were charged with an organized scheme to defraud and Trisha was also charged with the possession of methadone. They both were bonded out the next day and were ordered to pay restitution to Ursula in the amount that they stole. If you ask me, I'd say they got off easy. Unfortunately, scamming their way through money has been so common in the U.S. for people who just don't want to work and earn for themselves since the past few years. Look at this woman, for instance. On March 26, 2024, in Florida, officers responded to a convenience store to investigate a potential fraud. The store owner said the woman was trying to cash a check for $2,430.74 that he believed was fake. The woman said she received a check in the mail for creating a Facebook page for a company. We do check cashing here. Okay. We've been doing this for a long time, so I've right. been doing this, and I have a little bit of knowledge of it. Right, right, right. They come with this check, with this paper, with this, right? I seen them. I know that she basically comes in, and I know, I know that she usually comes in, and she doesn't work in Texas. I know that the check is out of state, right. and it just doesn't make sense. Do you have any idea on you? He has it. What about you, boss? Do you have any idea on you? You don't have idea on you? We're, he's, we're figuring it out. I have a seat right here, please. Can I get a cat? Alright. So what's going on with this job? Who's the people that are sending? That sent it to you? Yes. Who's that? Well. Ashley Well. Oh, 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 that That's the people online. Is that it? Everything's right on that paper. All right, what's the business? Gadget.com company, construction site. I was did pro, um, promotions and stuff online for them. You did promotions online emails. for them? I got all emails right here. Does not mean you're under arrest. It just means I have to ask you some questions and you're not free to leave, okay? So, you have the right to remain silent and not answer any questions. Any statements you make must be freely and voluntarily given. Stay over there, any statements you make must be freely and voluntarily given. You have the right to the presence and representation of a lawyer virtually. Any statements can and will be used against you in the court of law. Do you understand those? Okay. So, you said that this is Badger, what's the company? I just sent an email. They you said Badger Construction? Yes. And what were you doing for them online? Make a post, like, make, I had to make a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And she, like put the information up on. Can you show me that Facebook page? Right here. Right. I don't mind making a check. She said mm -hmm. that she got paid for making a Facebook page. I'm trying to have her show me the I'm Facebook page. I think I'm lying. Is that business job right here? See Badger being. See Badger right there. Okay, you have access to it. Hey. No, 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 I'm saying, do you have this anybody, is, sorry, anybody can, can get on that page. I'm asking if you... That's what they told me to do. From her words, you can clearly understand that she lacks the knowledge as she doesn't even know that the creator of a Facebook page will definitely have admin rights. Hence, it seemed very unlikely to the police that a company would actually trust her with their Facebook page. When they wanted to check with the company directly regarding that, she mentioned having a conversation with a woman named Ashley Webb, who is a manager at the company. If Ashley Webb is an HR manager for a hiring service, they're not going to pay you from the company. They're going to pay you from a, from a hiring oh, service. No. Okay. Just... What's the name of the company for the hiring service? Sorry, this is all I know. I can just, you can just keep going through the all emails. Right, go through the emails and see if there's a, a name of the company. Right. This is all I have to do. Like, I... Okay, go through another email. I right, go to another one. I want to know. I want to see who, who this Ashley Webb works for. All right, so it says here that she's from Badger Services. Okay, I'm gonna call them and see if she's uh, if she's an employee with them. Good morning, Badger Services. Hi, this is Officer Sanchez with the Palm Beach Gardens Police Department in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. What kind of do you guys have an Ashley Webb that works for you? 
Uh, no, we do not. Um, and I'm the office manager. I've been here for 16 years. 16 years. All right, so let me just grab some information from you. These are your people, aren't they? Did you call them? We ain't coming to you. Sarge, what's up, buddy? What do you mean by that? Like, you need me to sign up for a job to help. Oh, like, like a <laughs> probation <laughs> thing? I don't know. Oh, I'll take it. That's my shit. They 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 um, it's all going to be turned into evidence, and the person who was passing the check is going to be arrested. Okay, so you may you okay. may be in contact with someone in the next couple of days. Asking for right now is anything you want to tell me you right now? My phone, find everything. You can text message, texting her. That's fine. I don't care about text messages. I'm asking you. You can put your phone down. I don't I'm know. Asking, I don't know listen, nothing about the check. You know nothing about the check. I'm my son, I could die right now. Like I don't know anything about the check. Who was that person that just rolled up? That's my mom. Okay, how does she know about this? Because I should know that we're out here with you. Because I ain't come home yet. She, I take care so of her. So she just knew automatically. I do for an hour. So she knew automatically that we're here because no, she, of the check. I told her I'm going to try to catch the check. So the last chance. And nothing you want to talk about it? What? I supposed to know about it? I don't know. All I can know is the emails. Right. They hired Stand me. Stand up for me. And everything. Like. Gonna finish this off. Yeah, you're gonna go for what? Huh? The class is going to be. It's all on my phone. What are y'all talking about? Hey, 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 hey. I swear to God, I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't put five minutes in the middle. Take me. Because I'm going to steal your ass. Take me. Take me. Take me. What the f did she do? What the f did my child do? What the f? Did she do? Cash the fraudulent check. No, she didn't catch a fraudulent okay, check. Go back so what? That was so how the f that she know I'm a fraudulent check. They don't need check. You, you gotta got to be f***ed up. It did not catch your mom, check. Mom, I cannot communicate with you if you're going to be yelling. Let me, uh, let me explain it to you, okay? Uh -huh. So she got a check. Listen, hold on. Let me yeah. tell you. She got a check. She claims she doesn't know where she got it from. That's fine. She claims she doesn't know where she got it from. This is the issue. The issue is that the check is... Don't... The, uh, the, issue, the issue is the check is fraudulent. She, she did not care. Oh, no. Y'all can't take her. And, and listen, I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all take an... my daughter. I'm going to tell y'all something right now, sir. Okay, I'm listening. I'm a, I, I am going to sue the out of this store right now. That's fine. I'm going to tell you something. Okay. The lawyer I got right now... That's fine. I'm going to close she's the She's an adult. Now. She's an adult. I'm going to tell her she never passed to no check. She's an adult. I don't want to explain it to you. But you know she got all the paperwork. The only thing I was trying to do is be courteous and explain what happened. No, listen, because you know what? And you don't want to listen. All you want to do is yell. Listen, I'm going to We're done. We're done. No, 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 Girl, you know damn well it's not a feed. So you're not getting that envelope. You're not getting that envelope. No, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. I'm going to get her shit, too. You don't tell me what to do. Like, it's nothing. It is. There's a bag it's in a, here. It's a bead. It's not beads. Oh, okay. Y'all got it. Huh? Look, this? Yeah. Look at the front. I, I want to put a... You want to leave it with your mom? Yes. Like, yes. Help me out talk to you. Do you want to take your necklace off too? Yes. So stop and wait. Hey, so hey listen, move. listen. I didn't do I'm trying to be nice. We try to be nice. This okay. Now now you're not running it. I'm running this, okay? No, I, I tried to be nice, God. and I'm tired of you and her yelling. Oh so we're done God. with it. She didn't catch no check. He's supposed to go down. At this point, the officers were a little confused about if she's actually at fault since they couldn't locate the woman named Ashley Webb. They were willing to listen to her and try to understand the situation, but instead of being logical, this woman and her mother chose to yell continuously. And I'm going to call the judge because I know my rights. And she now uh, literally... Ma'am, the stuff's falling out of the... The stuff's falling out. And cash the check, you can't take her to jail. Why did I call for the vocal? That's the Just put it right there. I'm taking care of it. 
Give it up. Give it up. Let me call my brand at Channel 12 News. I ain't going nowhere. Channel 12 News put me right here. And everything, I'm going to bring all my family up here. It doesn't make a difference if she says it can't mail to her, if she printed it. It doesn't make a difference. She tried to catch the check. She was also given the opportunity to leave because the owner here said, I don't believe this check is good. And the cousin said, oh, it is. It's all legit. Da, 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 da. No, it's not. The company verified it's but not. But they they not. It's not. It's not. Yeah, you got it. I probably have to take you That's what you tell That's what you tell the judge. But, but listen, though, no, see, like, like this. She's yeah. in possession of a fraudulent check that she attempted to catch. That is probable cause for an arrest. Now, what the judge does with it is up to them. But at the end of the day, we didn't, she didn't know nothing about the check being fraudulent. Right? It's her responsibility to know whether that check is ah, good she or bad. the feed. Oh, she was, she was, if you was in that predicament, uh, listen, hear me out. The if you was in that predicament, uh, she ain't got shit. She got three kids. Three kids. Of that and she got shit to feed him. And a sick child. You don't try to kill you. Yeah, sir, I am not. Because oh, somebody God. says... It didn't have to talk. She got online. No. So listen, at the end of the day... Gonna be charged with it. If, that, I, I if her defense, listen, us. listen. If her defense is gonna be, I didn't know, then that's her. That's that's up to her to determine. No, first of all, right she's working online. She got kids. Like, like, she online. didn't know the shit was fucked. Dog, I, 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 I well, gotta well, get her a ten. Dog, that green the fuck. It's like, not. Put but it's not though. Hold on, hold on. Like, put yourself in her shoes, though. I get it, but it's not. She was charged with uttering a forgery and possession of a controlled object. For all we know, there's a possibility that this woman was not a scammer. Maybe she got scammed and she was really the victim here. Had she researched a little bit, she would have known no one mails a $2,000 check. In this case, the wisest thing she could have done was leave the store when the shop owner repeatedly warned her instead of claiming the check to be an original one. If you think she was stupid, wait till you see the next people in line. On February 12, 2023, officers received a call from a check cashing center regarding a couple attempting to cash a check of $15,000. Although the transaction seemed legitimate at first, it turned out the check was fake. Stand up. Can you turn around, face the wall? Put your stuff down on the counter. Put your hands up. Do you have anything sharp on you? Do you guys have identification with you? Yeah. Here, it. He has it. Do you have their IDs and stuff? Mm -hmm. And what they try to pass? They try to, can I see that as well? You call to verify this. Um, my, my boss, uh, guys, oh, that but I listen to me, okay? So before we proceed any further, okay, I'm gonna read you both Miranda rights, okay? That just means I'm gonna ask you some questions, okay? But you have rights before I do so, all right? All right, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk with a lawyer, have a lawyer present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire, if you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, won't be appointed to represent you before questioning. I'm speaking to the lawyer, okay? So first thing. I'm going to ask you, I'm only going to ask you one time. What is your first name? Uh, Linda. Okay. Linda? What's your last name? I know this is not you guys, and I'm about to hook you up to a scanner, so I'm giving you one option and one option only. I'm just hiding. Okay. Okay, so this is you. They thought they had the police fooled, but little did they know that the police officers were going to verify their identities and locate the real people those identities belonged to. The officer put them under arrest right away after verifying their identities. One, these IDs are brand new, and they say they were issued in 2018. That's how we know they're fake. Okay. And two, the cash, the check you're trying to cash in there is stolen. Um. Okay, so what does that mean for us? Well, that means I need to, one, identify who you are. Are we going to jail? If I can determine that this is not the case and it's an error, then no. But I still need to identify who you are. That's the reason why I'm here. That's the reason okay. why you're in handcuffs. What do you mean if you can identify? They're telling us that the, the check is stolen, so that would be a felony. 
pass in a fraudulent check. Okay. Okay. Just look at them. I'm just going to throw this out there. That these were issued in 2018. Right. Okay. Look how brand new these things are. I know. That was a dead giveaway to the cashier in there. Okay? So what he does is he does a two-step verification on that check in there. One, it's coming from the Treasury Department, so it's not like it's a personal check. Right. So when they get it, that it's, that it's verified that the person that is listed to, they're confirming that it's stolen. Okay. Okay? Both of your names are on there. So... But you're not on currently active probation. Yeah. All right. I just got out. Gotcha. Okay. So, so as, as like I told you, I still got to do the investigation. So he's still going to do his verifying step process. But I want to have you sitting here so I can talk to him. Because uh, okay. like I'm telling you right now that these the real ones are saying that it's stolen from what I'm getting from them. It could be a different story. However, that's the reason why we've been called here today. We've got the, uh, the real people who have already confirmed that it's no good. We're just trying to figure out how to get the check. What about ID cards? As you can tell, I'm gonna give you a hand. 2018, these things are brand new. They're gonna be keep separate though. So I need one vehicle to stage him and one for her. Copy the check and then do you have um actually just your last name? And what's this? Oh uh, yeah, I got it right here. Right now. This is that check. This has some information as to date, time that it came in. I took a picture of both of them there. Um, I'll get you a larger picture of both of them there. Okay, so I found it. Found what? Nothing. One of your little tin things. Tin things? You have a little pink tin screw top. See, no, I didn't know that was in Okay, so here's the thing is, he's going to jail. Okay. You're getting one opportunity to speak with a detective at the station. Okay. Okay. Whether he does anything to assist you, it's solely up to you. Mm -hmm. If you explain your situation and you help him out, okay. I mean, like I said, you're looking at serious felonies right now. Okay. You're probably going to prison. I'm not the judge, and I'm just letting you know that where you're standing at. I don't know your previous sister either. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna go with them, and then he's going to jail. He already, he already sealed his case. Okay. All right. So going you're going with the other deputy, okay. and then I'm gonna take your boyfriend. Their case is still ongoing. Chances are they can end up getting up to 15 years in prison, according to the law of the USA. It's absolutely insane how much people scam for menial stuff. For instance, a couch. On a lovely day in Ohio, officers received a call from a manager at a local rent center regarding a grand theft. According to the manager, a thief had ordered a $2,000 couch set online and then refused to make the first month's payment. When the manager decided to investigate, she discovered that the thief had purchased the couch using someone else's identity. So, two days later, we deliver uh, the payment comes due for the very first payment. I called the guy's phone number. And this guy answered the phone, and he's flipping out. Like, he has no idea what we're talking about. He don't even live live on this side of town, blah, 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 blah. This is, I don't know how the hell this lady does this, but there's the awards letter. And the only reason that I caught it was because the more I got to looking into the lease, then I realized in the lease where she sent us the lease, she forgot to take her name out of there and put his name in it. Mm. This signature here, which is supposedly the Richard Jackson guy, this guy, doesn't match our delivery. Mm -mm. Like, this was when it was delivered. One of our old customers calls us, and she's like, hey, Jess, it's Lindsay. She's like, I have a question for you. I was like, yeah. She goes, can you tell me if, um, she told me the girl's name, if she used me as a reference to get furniture through you guys. And I'm like, so I pulled, typed this girl's name in, and I'm like, no. I was like, I don't even have her as a customer. She goes, okay, well, she lives at this address, and then she gave me this address. The f and I'm like, and I just so happened was in this guy's account, and it clicked in my head. I'm like, well, that's his address. She's like, no. She goes, Jess, she's like, she, she I guess she's known for doing identity theft. Mm -hmm. I guess she's on probation in Kettering. So the girl called me because she was flipping out because the Samantha chick 
had texted her a couple days ago wanting to use her as a reference. And she's okay. like, no. So she just called me to see if she did, and I'm like, no. So Lindsay ends up going into this whole long story about this Samantha girl. She's like, and now she's trying to sell my stuff because Lindsay called me back this morning. She's like, Jess, she just tried to sell me your furniture. I'm like, she's what? We delivered it. We delivered it to apartment A, which is on the left-hand side. She lives in apartment B right across here. So she had us deliver it to a vacant an apartment and move the shit over to her apartment. This woman named Samantha has done a hell of a job by forging signatures on all the documents of the actual resident of the apartment, but she didn't know that the owner would go full-on detective mode and dig out all her details. The officer took the copies of the forged documents as well as the evidence collected by the owner and headed to her address after requesting backup to make an arrest. Riverside Police, open the door. Riverside Police, last chance. We're gonna kick your door open. Watch your radio. You don't leave that. That sounds, that sounds like a lot less power. Oh, it is a lot less. Why don't you just call, call an engine and have them force it? Uh, we got the tools at the PD, though, don't we? Looks like this door has been buying her a lot of time to hide things she might have stolen. It's actually ironic how after committing theft, she's so concerned about her safety. You don't gotta be rough with me, man. What the hell? Why are you guys being so rough with me, bro? You just open the door Damn. For us. So you, that doesn't mean you gotta rough me up? Ain't nobody roughing you up. Yeah, you're being rough. I'm not pulling away, I'm big. I'm big. I'm not. Yeah, you are. I'm not tensing up. Can you stop yanking my wrist, please? You want another set of cuffs? What the fuck? Please, I'm big. Please, I'm big. Can you please do it? Please. I'll do it. Come here. Thank you. I need my purse right here. Can you call my sister, please? Why and Okay. Please. I'll put two sets on. Yeah. Hold on. They're right over there. Can you lean over a little bit? Nobody else is here. Are you, can you? There you go. That's my daughter. My daughter. I need you, are you able to lean just a little more? 
Well, okay, this, this wasn't one cool. This been, wasn't cool either. One could have been like, hey, you know, well, we do it all by consent. The other could have well, been, we have a search warrant. All right, we're okay. going to get in and it was the door. I appreciate it. It's all recorded. We've got it yep. Do you have, uh, where's your tennis shoes? Right over here. The white ones under. Yeah. No, we'll white grab. tennis shoes right there. All right, we'll grab them. Okay. All right. What's your sosh? Uh, They're right there. I need my door locked. I can't. Seven, not in this okay. neighborhood. Okay. We're going to go right out here. Can I need I'll my grab door I'll grab locked, it. please? Well, they're not done. Okay. I really need my door locked. Well, I, I promise. I promise you. They're right by my TV. You have my word. I'll handle it, okay? lock my door. Yeah, let's let him. He's good to go. Got some questions for you. Can I talk to you? Is that a yes? Yeah. I'm not saying this to be disrespectful, but can you read right there? What does that say? You have the right to remain silent. Okay. <laughs> I would like to get your side of the story, but I can't force you to do that. That's up to you. It's up to you. Imagine all the effort she put into forging the paperwork for a $2,000 couch. If she would have just put the time in and done actual legitimate work, she could have earned even more than that. When asked, she came up with the most bogus explanation you'll ever hear. Okay, this guy, Richard, Richard Jack, uh -huh. um, we gambled together and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, he came over one day and he wanted to, you know what I'm saying, we was trying to get him something from Red Center. And he told me to order it and then, you know... As soon as they delivered it over there, he, he didn't answer the phone or anything. And then he calls me, threatening me, saying he's going to beat me up and all this other stuff. And this was just a couple of days ago. And I got it on my phone where he called and all that stuff. Why didn't he call the police? It's not like I, you know, he knew I had it and he, he came over and did it. He, how, would, how else would I have any of his stuff? And he, he did his information, you know? Well, you forged some documents. I didn't forge any documents. He did those. He took, you took your lease agreement from here on Kester Avenue. He, he did that stuff. You left your name on a part of the document. He did that stuff, though, mm -hmm. okay? I might have let him, but he did that. And he, you know, you can ask. What do you mean you, you let? Why would, dude. why would you let because him if it was all he, in Because his, he said that he was on, trying to get the stuff to sell it. It doesn't make it. But you reach. Did you or <clears throat> did you not reach out to Lindsay to try to sell it yourself? Did you try to do that? No, I did not. No, I did why not. Why would she lie about that? I don't. Because she's lying. She didn't even know me. How do you me. think we even. She got, didn't even know me like that. Well, you do know her. Uh, no, she knows of me. I don't like that. So how do you think we got of to this? Of course she's going to say anything she can. I She's the one who told Riverside that well, that's or she, Renna Center that something she, weird was yeah, going on. Yeah, she was probably high as f too. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at your, so why didn't your source? Uh, uh, so uh, let me tell you something that doesn't make sense. If this was all concocted by Richard, right? It was. It was both of us, but he knew that I was just helping him get it. But he why would he? But why? Why wouldn't? How he, else would I have his information? How else would he? He submitted his ID and everything. But why wouldn't he just do it himself? Why does he need you? Because he don't know how. He's not computer literate. So you did know that you were ripping off Rena Center. I mean, no, I didn't rip off nobody. <laughs> I didn't rip off anybody. But you did. They delivered it here. Okay, mm. they delivered it here. It's not in my name, and I didn't forge anything. That's what he did. So. You know, that's on them. Do you understand your story is just ridiculous, Man, right? Man, this is all ridiculous. Right, but you Ugh. did. It did. But it's ridiculous because now you're caught. So he's allowed to call and threaten me and everything else. Why didn't and you, you report? Guys, and you guys believe, So why didn't you report that to you the police? You guys believe why the you damn dope why fiend. Why didn't you report that to you the police? You guys believe Lindsay did Summers you, a damn dope fiend. Did you call and report that to the police? I think yes I or no? want to talk to my lawyer. Okay. She was charged with grand theft and is now on probation, which she violated just 90 days later. Do you think these people got the right punishment, or do you think they deserved much worse? Let us know in the comments below.